Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. Sorry, I'm trying to get this timing just right. Anyway, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. Here we're going to talk about plastic bags. Right on Ziploc plastic bags. I'm sorry. Um, love these. We sell an awful lot of saw tips, which are little expensive parts. Uh, I think a pencil leads are bigger. Um, cost 10 cents to a quarter each. Industry used to put them in boxes. We started putting them in plastic bags inside the boxes. Uh, took some plastic bags home, made labels for them, love using them. And then we got these. And these are 4 mil instead of the 2 mil or 1 mil you get in stores. Uh, they have a, a large, large right on white box. They're Ziploc. Um, these things are great. Let me show you some of the uses. This is the 4x6. This is full of drywall self-tapping screws uh, with nice sharp points. It's a 4 mil. The points, oh, I know there's a, there was a point coming through here. Some, there's, a, there's a point coming through down there. The points will come through a little bit on these, but the bag doesn't rip. The bag stays together. Uh, it doesn't fall apart. So it's a good heavy bag, even, even with a point coming through. And if you want to, I'll do a video sometime about the physics and the chemistry and why that is. But basically, it's a, and ah, never mind. Anyway, this is our 6x9 uh, bag of bolts. That's a lot of weight in it. And then what I did, too, is this is what I've been using. Okay, a standard, what is it, 2 pound? 2 pound, 1.9 ounce coffee can. This is what I this is what I put it in now okay so this is our 9 by 12 bag it is big enough to hold a coffee can full of bolts which is so heavy that I'm tired of holding it up now but well I like several things about them this one you can maybe see something through it you got to dump it out what I really like is they're easier to store than this is easier to store than a coffee can is. I like these because I use a bulldog clip, also called a binder clip, something like this. I can put it on a put it on the wall, put the bag on it. I can label the bag and see what I've got. For me this works a lot better than bags with with a pegboard. Uh, my hooks always come out of the pegboard. I was using bottles like these. These bottles are a lot more expensive. I was cutting the label off and taping the label on the bottle. The problem with that is then what do you do with it? So you put it on a shelf. With this you can put them on. They can they can overlap. Let's see. Here. Here's the label. They can overlap each other. You can put them on so you can see that much and you can see the screws you've got right there. For me, these are just a really handy storage thing. We're selling these uh, as soon as Renee, our e-commerce manager, uh, gets them up. We're having just a little trouble with sourcing, as usual. But anyway, if you want to, you can contact Renee, and she'll send you a couple as a sample. Hey, Renee, I'm giving away bags. There, I told her. <laughs> anyway, these things are great. They're 4 mil. They're incredibly handy. Uh, you ought to contact Renee and she'll throw a few of them in an envelope for you. Thanks. Bye.